Hey, Crazy Will here. Today, today we're going to be talking about how to replace the LCD cable in a 2015 MacBook Air. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to talk about how to repair the LCD cable inside this 2015 MacBook Air. Air. Now I know what you guys are thinking after my last couple of videos you think the last video would be about a Mac But I'm gonna be talking about repairing them and that's probably the best way to stick it to the man My buddy gave this to me with water damage being that it has water damage It's gonna be quite a challenge and it has turned into my obsession a serious obsession of seeing if I can really Fix this. So this is the kind of second attempt I had to try and fix this. The first one was actually fixing the LCD fuse, which I'm gonna make a video after this on what I did to actually get the board running. But the first thing I noticed was the LCD cable had this nice chunk taken out of it. So that's probably where the liquid hung around and that's where something happened where it got ruined. So I had to replace the LCD cable inside this MacBook. Now this is not an easy task for the fact that this bezel is glued on. Plus we got to take it apart, the screen from the actual body of the MacBook. So we can get to the LCD cable which is actually wrapped through one of the hinges of this MacBook Air. So one thing I didn't realize, when you buy the cable, it actually comes with the wire threaded through the hinge. So you get the hinge with the actual cable, which I didn't realize that until I started looking on Amazon and you'll see that and that's why you have to go through the process of actually taking this off the body. So without further ado, let's take this bad boy apart and get to work. All right, so this is where I'm at so far. I took the bezel off, only glued on. The two parts you have to worry about when you're trying to take the bezel off is the camera and then these very flexible, very easily to rip connectors to the screen. If you ruin these, if you hit them, which they're very easy to hit, you could just call the screen gone because it's just, it's not gonna happen. You need a new LCD from that point. And I haven't cleaned this yet, but I just wanted to share with you guys real quick how I got this bezel off. So. The bezel was on like this, and what I did was, I laid it down flat like this. And you gotta be really careful not to bend it, and I think I bent this up, and I'll see how this comes out once I actually fix it. But I took a gift card, and I wedged it nice and easy, and I just kinda wedged it right in between, right where the MacBook symbol is. And I wedged it in there enough to where it was peaking, and you don't push on the screen, because you've pushed on the screen, you're gonna destroy it. But I wedged it enough that it popped out to this side, and then what I did was, I took regular dental floss. Everybody has a different tool. I didn't wanna break the screen. So I took regular everyday dental floss. This is the dental floss I use. And what I did was I took out a piece, and I use this a lot on a lot of different repairs. I took a piece out, and I did it doubled, and then I slipped it through. And I'm gonna show you how I slipped it through. I slipped it through underneath the business card and this is already off so but I slipped it through right here I slipped it through and then what I would do is I would just scissor it from there and it does break from time to time you got to redo it and start it up but once you get to a certain point it's already up so you just kind of work it through and another trick that you could do with dental floss is I took and you can see these right here. I took the dental floss and actually connect it. After I got it through, I connect it to this and, and I would double up on it and cut through. But it actually works a lot better and you don't put any pressure on the screen. That's how I do it. I've watched a lot of different people do it on YouTube, read a lot of different articles on different ways of doing it. This is what worked for me and I felt more comfortable, like I wasn't gonna damage the screen. Like I seen some guy use paint knives and I just worried about the screen because this LCD is very expensive. The Assembly is more than the whole computer so that's what I did and then what I did was afterwards and I cleaned this the best I could I used alcohol and I left this piece right here because that's to protect against the camera but everything else I scraped as much as I can and I probably gotta scrape a little bit more what I used was was this right here and I just scraped along here with a little bit of alcohol. I used 91% alcohol to clean it, just so it wouldn't mess it up too much. And then I just scraped it. And it just, the alcohol just kind of breaks down the glue a little bit, and it just helped me get all this crap off, which there's still a little bit on there, but you don't have to go crazy. And I have double-sided tape coming along the way, and I have a new LCD cable coming as well. Unfortunately, you gotta take the whole assembly apart in order to get it, because it's actually going through the hinge. You take out your screws, from here, 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 here. It's like a star type of screw. I'm gonna pop this off. 
the first thing we do is disconnect the battery. There's no power running through the board. We'll disconnect the monitor right here. You just pull up on this tab and then you push back. There in lies the problem is this connector right here. Disconnect that power adapter crossover. I don't know what all the names of this stuff is. I just know how to take it apart. So I'm gonna pop that off so that way it's not in the way. And you're gonna pop it off right here too. So I'm gonna pop that off. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Is I'm gonna take this out right here. This you have to lift up and out. Pull it like so, all right? This is actually your SSD hard drive. So I'm gonna take that and put it off to the side. And I disconnected that. For one, it shows you where, what the motherboard you're working on, the model number is. And another reason is, God forbid we get a surge through this, you don't lose any of the information. Not that there's anything on there, but it's an expensive part. The next thing I'm gonna go for is the Wi-Fi because it is connected to the screen. So let's go ahead and grab my plastic pry tool. And this is like the third time I've done this, <laughs> unfortunately, because I've been trying to diagnose this for a while now. Put that pry under there, pop that off, pop this one off. Okay, and we'll pull this out up from underneath this line right here. Another piece that we're gonna have to get out is the camera cord. It is right here. And this one I was a little bad with. I started prying up on it. You don't pry up on it. You just actually push out the side. And we'll push on that side and this side. And that's disconnect. And then we're gonna pull this out from its spot. And we're gonna disconnect this too. Pull on that. Right out. Okay, so that way that's not in the way. And this should go under it, so when we put it back. And just to let you know, I'm using a T4 hexagon or star screwdriver. It'd be easy just to take this board out. So we disconnected the speaker, which was right here. I used a little pry bar underneath the wire, popped it off, and then we'll unscrew this screw right here. So that's where the screw was is this piece right here and you just flick this up like so and then gently pull it out yeah we have to take the fan out so we're going to take the fan out here and just place your screws because they're all a little different another thing on the fan what we want to do is flip this right here flip that up that's the connector for the fan and then we're going to pull the fan up and out but that screws in the way so all right so i can't get that screw out anymore so i'm gonna try and just cattywop this this a little bit i don't want to ruin anything but we're just gonna push it off to the side normally you just take this fan out so let's just get this wire out that's all we really needed and if you can see it's it was caught right in the board there we just pull that out so let's get this out of the way Pull that off to the side. So we try to keep cat categorized of your screws, just to give you an idea of what I got going. This is the layout I have. That screw goes with that. Screw goes with the board. I try to keep everything together. And then those two screws are for the fan. And normally I put the fan over there, but the fan is stuck. So the next screws are T9s. So T9s, the star tip, and we're gonna take them out of here. So, and we're gonna leave one in there. Now we're going for the other side. And we're gonna leave one in. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put this up on its side. And we gotta put this at a 90 degree angle to get the hinges off. And we're gonna take out the last screws. I know this is not a good angle. All right, so I'll put that one over here. All right, so that's free. Let's make sure my wires are clear of everything. Put those off to the side. Put the monitor cable off to the side. We'll take out the last one right here. Try and support it. So those are out. And now what we're going to do is just pop it past. All right. So now the LCD screen is detached from the board. And we'll put the LCD screen here. So as you can see right here, those are the screws I need to get out. They're the same as the monitor, so it's a T9. Alright, so those are out. This is the bottom of the screen, this is the top of the screen. And what I did was I pushed my little plastic nub in here and lifted up on the plastic. And now I'm going to lift up on the plastic. And I'm sorry for the air conditioner in the background. And we're going to place this to go under the rubber. So it's kind of dirty. And the new one will have a metal hinge on it. I'm going to show you that. All right, so we got that. This little metal piece, which was right over the LCD cable, was there. I pulled that up. It looked like it was just gluing in place. I'm going to put it off to the side for now. And then if you lift up on the monitor, 
be gentle because these are ribbing cables you don't want to mess those up there's a little bracket and it's hard for me to show you here that if you pop it up it'll release and oddly enough the connector on this side is fine but just to show you what it looks like and it's pushed in and then slapped in there like so and then you got to just lift this piece out and then pull it out so that's the assembly that's what I have coming in the mail. We got the new piece. I don't know if you guys could see that, the right piece. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work. We're gonna see if we get a backlight. So I'm gonna put some of this back together and see if we got a backlight. Of this, we're gonna lift this rubber band up again. And we're gonna snake this piece very gently, I might add, right through, like so. I'm gonna put it in a position so that way we can gently put it in there. Okay, so we'll put that back in place, clamp that, and that's going to go there, but we got to get that metal piece, if you remember earlier, there's a little metal piece that was kind of pushed and glued right here. I'm going to put that back. I'm just going to push this back into place. Get my tiny screwdriver. So we got that back together. That's the assembly for that. Put some screws, get the hinge back on. Again, that's the Torx T9. Now we'll go back to the other part of the board. We're gonna put this back together a little bit. I'm gonna make sure it works first before we go crazy. So we gotta get these at a 90 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do now. So that was basically it. I've been through a lot of ups and downs with this machine. Spoiler alert, I did get it working, but the bezel, I did not film how I put the bezel back on, which I didn't do a good job anyway, because you could still see, you could pull that, and I should have put some tape there. But I will show you the tape I used. This is the tape I used, this is how it comes. I will leave a link down in the description below, and no, it's not an affiliate link, so you can think whatever you want, I'm just trying to help you guys out. It is super, super thin, as you can see and you kind of want that and it's I think it's under LCD actual tape and it's double-sided it sticks really good so far I haven't had a problem I mean that's what it looks like that's how thin it is I think it did a pretty good job I mean this isn't really coming off I haven't had a problem with it worked out pretty well I think it looks pretty good unfortunately that wasn't the only problem that this MacBook Air had so I will do another video next week showing you basically what I did to diagnose it and doing a little board repair I also I also think I could have got away with just replacing the 30 pin connector on the board, which I eventually did, but I wish I would have done that first before I got into actually diagnosing capacitors and resistors on the board. I wish I would have just checked to see if that was the problem, and I think that was. Chances are, if you have a burnout on one of the LCD connectors, the inside of your 30 pin on the board LCD connector is going to have a problem too, because it'll burn up in there and it'll mess it up and the connection won't be as good so you should just go ahead and replace it and I didn't do that right away because I was kind of intimidated and it actually wasn't as bad as I thought as long as you use the right flux and you use the right solder it it, it was really easy to put on it was a lot easier than some of the other repairs that I'll show you that I did next week so that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you anyway and remember you can do anything if you put your mind to it later guys a freaking giant spider up there. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.